Let's try this problem. So find the value of x. Okay, so we have a triangle here, and we know that this segment is x, this is 35, this is 4, and this is 10. And the first thing we're going to notice here is we have this segment here, okay, that's dividing these two sides, and it's parallel to this third side. So right then and there, we're going to say, oh my gosh, I remember the triangle proportionality theorem or the side splitter theorem. Um, and I know what that means is that this is to this as this is to this, okay? So I can set up a proportion um, because I know it's dividing, this segment right here is dividing these two sides proportionally, okay? So I just go, all right, no sweat, x is to 35 as 4 is to 10. Awesome. And now it's super easy to solve for x. I'm just going to take the cross products and set them equal to each other. Now, don't forget to show what your cross products are so you don't make a mistake, okay? I even show my cross products, okay? So 10 times x is 10x, and 35 times 4 is going to be 140. Now, for those of you who may not be able to do 35 times 4 in your head, I actually, I mean, I guess technically I did it in my head, but I really, um, I kind of broke it up into something that's easier. So 35 times 4, another way to write 4 is 2 times 2. And for me personally, I'm really good at doubling and halving things. I mean, once you start multiplying by other numbers, I'm like, what? But I tend to break things up um, into products of their prime factors so that I can do math more easily. So 35 times 2, that's super easy because it's 35 doubled, which I know is 70. And then 70 doubled is just going to be 140. Okay? There you go. Now, dividing by 10 is super, super easy. So I just divide by 10, I end up with x. And then 140 divided by 10 is just going to be 14. Okay? So in this case, x equals 14. Now, something that I want to do in this video that I didn't do in the last one, which I think is important, is to show you how to check your work, okay? So how we're going to check our work is we just established that x was 14. So I'm going to write 14 over here, okay? Now we're going to check that our two ratios are indeed equal. So if we are correct, because remember, it is so, so, so important to always check your work, really, okay? In life, I know... I know in school tests are timed and sometimes you don't have time to check your work, but you know, in life you gotta submit things properly. And I always used to say to my students, I don't care how many mistakes you make along the way, as long as when you submit the final answer, you know it's correct, okay? So we're just gonna set up the ratios here and make sure that they are indeed equal. So is it true that 14 over 35 equals four over 10? Okay, so now we're just gonna simplify these fractions here, okay? 14 and 35, okay, the greatest common divisor is 7. So 14 divided by 7 is 2, and 35 divided by 7 is 5, okay? And then we come over here, greatest common divisor is going to be 2, okay? So uh, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 10 divided by 2 is 5, and look at that. 2 over 5 equals 2 over 5, 2 fifths equals 2 fifths. We know we are right, we know we have the right answer. So there you go.